So we have just three fixtures in here, four actually, but three main fixtures. So we have the wash and basin, we have the WC, and we have the shower. So what we're going to do for at least these 15 minutes, I'm going to walk you through how I do my plumbing connection. It's quite simple, quite easy. Hopefully, by the end, you should be able to do yours too. Are we good? So what I would like for you to do is look at my ground floor plan here with my fixtures and try and see if you can actually create yours. So just create a bathroom, doesn't matter the size, just create one and then place in your basin, your WC, your shower. You need to place in the water heater now. That will be in the part two of this video where we talk about domestic water and hot water and cold water so for now just place in your basin place in your wc place in your shower and i'll show you how to connect the wastewater piping the outlet pipes that takes the water into the soak away and the septic tank so pause the video do that i assume you've done that now let's continue the video now, in order to create your pipe, there are two ways you can do it. One is very simple. You can use the connectors. Like for example, this basin I have here, I have added the connectors to them already. So we see we have the 32 mm connector, the outlet. Yeah, right here. If I click on that, the pipe will be created automatically like this. There you go. So that is the connector method. Now, let's assume that I don't have that because I'm thinking you might not have that. So let's just say you don't have that. How do you do it? You can create the connector, fine, but I will teach you how to do that another time. So let's do it with no connectors. Just for this one. Yeah, is that okay? So cut a section, open the section, right here okay let's hide all of this hide in view element good now ground full plumbing plan you're going to go to system you're going to go to pipe you select the type of pipe you want so in this case it's a waste pipe so we'll be using pvc pipe is that okay yeah good now you see there? That's also because I have a connector. But let's let's ignore the connector and let's just draw our pipe like this. You click once, you come down, you click. Now this is 32 mm diameter, but for the waste outlet, we like a 50 mm diameter. So in that case, we select 50 mm diameter and we continue drawing with the 50 mm diameter and we come out good so you see so here we have 32 mm like that and here we have 50 mm like this so this is a reducer okay from 32 to 50 and there you have it so rivet will give you that automatically you don't have to draw it you just have to determine the size of pipe here and the size of pipe here once they are different rivet will automatically give you a reducer now this is all good but you see that you can't actually see what you have drawn in 3d just the outline and the sketch in order to see in 3d what you have to do is come here to your detail level so right now my detail level is at cost but we don't want it at cost we want it at fine so we want fine details we want to see everything very well fine details there you go beautiful beautiful sanitary connection perfect so there you see you see how we do that good now for those who have connectors let's get rid of this and we will draw this pipe using connectors okay 
So I'm going to click on this like I did before. Click on the connector. I'm going to come out straight. Come down straight and about halfway again i'm going to come here to diameter at the top right around here you see that you see the mouse good Just click on the arrow to scroll down and you select 50 from among the row down menu and now you bring that pipe all the way down past the f and outside and you are done beautiful see how you connected right perfect now let's look at that in 3d to see what we have done i'm not going to save now we haven't done anything much there you go there you go let's update around that nice see just as easy as that we have already connected our first waste pipe from the bottle trap underneath the basin and it's out of the building hooray now let's move on let's move on let's move on okay let's move on now we move on to the wc now in this case i also have a connector so i'm going to go to my section and i'm going to click on the wc and just click on that connector now you see why it's important to have connectors it's quite easy you just click on that it comes down somewhere around here and out there you go you can see this my section is too low so i'm going to increase it a bit good there you see it good so you've done the wc it's quite fast isn't it it's quite easy no hassle at all now let's see that in 3d2 there it is beautiful good so in just about seven minutes we've been able to do a basin and then the wc with outlet now let's move on to the shower so for the shower, you have the shower drain right here. Yeah, there you go. And you're going to cut a section right about here. Try and find the drain. There it is. Excuse me. So we're going to click on the drain. And then again, we click on the create pipe button right here. 50 mm out. Yes, that's what we want. We want the pipe going out. 50 mm. You come down and you move out of the building there you go now let's see that in 3d okay now you realize that uh, the fitting here the the fixture yeah the flow drain yeah the flow drain is taking the same color with the wc which i don't want it's not good because this is going to the septic tank, okay? Because of the waste, the soil water in it. But this is just waste water. We don't want it to go to the septic tank. We just want it to go straight to the soak away. Just like the basin pipe right here. So what you do is, you're gonna click on this and I'm gonna change the system classification. And I'm gonna tell Rivet that, Rivet, I don't want this to go to the soil and waste. I want it to go to sanitary water there you go so you see that the pipe automatically changes to green just like this one and easily like that underneath 10 minutes we have done our wastewater pipe going outside okay so let's go back to the ground flow plumbing pipe plan you see this pipe is too low which is why it's not showing i'm going to increase the height a bit and let's check again good now we have it right here so you can delete this section okay bring this one a little bit back here like this yep and we're going to right click right where you see this square you're going to right click here and say draw pipe now in this case we are assuming that our septic tank is somewhere behind here at the back of the building yeah so we're going to draw the pipe to go there just like that now we see that this is above this so let's check the height of this pipe 882 mm minus not bad let's make that minus 900 mm that is three feet minus three feet and what we're going to do here these two pipes are going to be connected to each other is that okay yeah good so let's connect this and that. We 
we'll bring this one back and let this one go also to the back of the building now we're going to check the height of this this is minus 759 now in order for them to connect perfectly we want to give it the same size so let's do minus 800 okay minus 800 here and minus 800 here so that the middle the middle elevation is the same now you do this and boom you have your swept t right here going in, in the proper direction is that okay you want to bring that a little bit closer just like that okay now we're going to add just something just a little bit something extra now after you have this you might want to create a cleaning eye now people you can also call it the rodding eye or the inspection chamber or the access plug whichever way you call it so we're going to create an access plug that is the area where you can actually access the pipe in case there is a blockage and you want to do some routing so that the blockage can go away so let us we're going to delete this elbow we're going to run this pipe through like this good delete this elbow we're going to reattach this to get the t i'm glad this happened so that you see so the t is now in the opposite direction we don't want it this way we want it to go backwards we want it to flow in this direction is that okay so you're going to flip this right here you see the flip fitting arrow good you flip that perfect now it's in the right direction now we're going to create a section because we want the pipe to come out of the ground in order to have an access to it a cleaning eye now we're going to go to the section and hide all of this we don't need that okay and as i said if you can't see your pipe and you see all these lines please detail level fine now you see your pipe okay you see the levels and the height between the two pipes that's good you want to right click here and you drop pipe 45 degree remember 45 degree there you go now here you want to right click and cap the open end so this is where you unscrew so you remove this and then you have access to route your pipe is that okay let's see that in 3d okay good see it's already getting filled with things it's looking nice it's looking beautiful already so you see it in 3d so you're going to remove this like this and then you can now route your pipe and remove the blockage good so let's go back we're going to create the same for the wc right here you delete this you bring this pipe backwards like this and again we're going to join it good the angle the direction of the t is good so we don't need to play with it it's okay like that next you go to your section you select the pipe you right click on the square there and you go to draw pipe 45 degrees upwards okay there you go you escape escape again you select your pipe you right click and you cap open end just like that you see what we have done there good now let's see that in 3d good 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 there you go perfect well we took 15 minutes to do the waste of a simple bathroom the next time in the part two of this tutorial we're going to see how to do the inlet water pipe the domestic water supply cold and hot so please hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so that when the next video comes out somewhere during this week you can be notified and you come for the next part of the tutorial any question please leave them in the in the comment box 
anything you like or dislike please let us know so that in the following tutorials we can work on those and be able to teach in a way that you understand better so this is the first part we have with rivet plumbing you see how easy it is how quick how fast it is now please we like to make this announcement in the in these videos and the ones coming for those who subscribe we have a telegram group okay so please if you subscribe you can also click on the link to the telegram group join our group so that if you have any questions we will answer you one-on-one -on -one. there are lots of people there who work with us in the company they are very proficient to our MEP work and they'll be willing to assist you with whatever problem you have so again any inquiries any question let us know and we'll see how best we can help you we also have a free gift coming up for those who subscribe so if you do subscribe and you want maybe any of these uh, families whether the wc the basin the shower or the heater please let us know send us a screenshot of your subscription and that will help and also probably have your gmail or something and then we'll forward them to you okay so that's good thank you very much for tuning in and Till next time, bye.